Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, in his own image, God created man, he included freedom in creation's plan. For he loved us even from before our birth. By his grace he made us free men of this earth. God to man entrusted life as gift and aim. Sin became our prison, turning hope to shame. Man against his brother lifted hand and sword, and the father's pleading went unseen, unheard. Then in time our maker chose to intervene, set his love in person in the human scene. Jesus broke the circle of repeated sin so that man's devotion newly might begin. Choose we now in freedom where we should belong. Let us turn to Jesus. Let our choice be strong. May the great obedience which in Christ we see perfect all our service. Then we shall be free. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of our land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms for him, for he is merciful. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice to his people and for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms for him, for he is merciful. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Brothers, count it pure joy when you are involved in every sort of trial. Realize that when your faith is tested, this makes for endurance. Let endurance come to its perfection so that you may be fully mature and lacking in nothing. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. He made us a nation of kings and priests in his own blood. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. The Lord has come to the help of his servants, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to the help of his servants for he has remembered his promise of mercy. Because of our sins, the Father gave the Lord Jesus up to death, and for our justification he raised him up again. Let us pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Hear our prayers and spare us as we confess our sins. Grant us forgiveness and peace. Your apostle said, Where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. Forgive us our transgressions. Lord, we have sinned, yet we have also acknowledged your infinite mercy. Bring us to conversion. Save your people from their sins, Lord. Make them pleasing to you. You opened paradise to the thief who believed in you. Do not close the gates of heaven to the faithful departed. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, in your loving plan, Christ your Son became the price of our salvation. May we be united with him in his suffering so that we may experience the power of his resurrection in the kingdom where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.